Hey guys, this one's about the RSS submitter. Uh, basically, we'll load up the default profile again, which is example. And this will load up all the information needed for the example profile. Uh, we'll go to RSS submitter, so we're already on there. And the first tab is RSS info. This is basically each, on an RSS feed, you have the feed name and the feed description, so the feed title and the feed description. Then you have a bunch of RSS feed, uh, RSS sort of little titles and descriptions, which is basically each link that is assigned to the feed in here will have a separate RSS title and separate RSS description. So obviously it would make sense uh, to set it up so it has spin tax around it, so that way each one's unique, as opposed to having, say, 100 URLs all with the same RSS title. Bear in mind the RSS title mainly is just for indexing purposes, so getting them links indexed. So don't worry about it too much, just as long as it's got that uh, your output URL attached to it, then hopefully it should get indexed quicker in Google's eyes. So for this example, we'll just put a little bit of spin tax in here, and we'll name it best keyword. We'll put in the description a little bit of spin tax, the best example keyword and then simply website I usually put the main domain that I'm after gaining backlinks to and uh, boosting the search engine rankings so it was example.com The categories, the categories are varied, but generally, if you just go for the general ones, so um, internet, um, business, health, and society, then you click through to the RSS creator. And this is the feed name and description. So really, you don't need spin tax in here because it will only be made once. So I'll just name this the Okay. Now if you follow my strategy and if you copy and paste all your output URLs to a text document, all you simply do is bring them into here and hopefully if it's not if you don't have too many in the file, you won't have to split them up uh, and just drop them into here. However, you can, if you like, just grab the last 100 URLs that you've processed. So obviously, I haven't really processed any in this example. So I'll just place some simple ones. Um, in here like that and I'll just name them all the same links and then we'll hit go and there we go it's been appended now to get that RSS feed URL simply go to the RSS info tab and this has appeared so if we open up the browser we can check this out and there we go in the RSS feed it's got the link This will just help bookmark your websites. It's as simple as that. In the next video, we'll be covering directory submitter.